Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. You probably remember from different video this headlight assembly for 2016 Toyota Corolla and we discussed it on this channel because in this year if your low beam fails, which is right there behind that see that lens hopefully if it fails you cannot just replace the bulb it's a built-in unit there will be a computer the ballast which is operating that low beam here is that lens you cannot replace it all the other bulbs are replaceable and i removed them already uh, you can probably hear, let me make the sound, this is full of water on top of it. You hear that? That's an aquarium, full of water right here. I already replaced that entire part. The person was waiting for it, so I couldn't uh, film it for you. But And I'm personally curious what is in this area. It's super heavy. That's where that ballast for that low beam should be. So I want to dissect it. Today will be a doctor appointment. The surgeon will be cutting things apart. And we can look what is inside. I will begin with these screws which are on the back. Some of them are Phillips. So the other ones are T15 which is Torx 15. There's a bunch of them around. This headlight assembly is pretty expensive if you will be buying Toyota OEM part. Uh, I believe it was with tax and everything like 500 bucks, but that's nothing in comparison with all these YouTubers which are working on Ferraris and Lamborghinis where just the lens could be like thousands of dollars just for this plastic if it's even replaceable right these are incredible videos we can watch on YouTube how that stuff can be unrealistic expensive and when that breaks it goes arm and leg. I'm really surprised that this is slowly coming apart. I didn't expect this. Maybe we will find out why the water got inside. Where is the failed seal? I switch to the other side. And this is amazing. That really the front lens can be separated and if it's faded from the sun purely theoretically it could be replaced i had no idea and this is very interesting situation and i'm glad i'm actually playing with it this is fun if everybody had such a great design like toyota Look at it, and it's wet, it's all wet. So if you look at it, there is a seal around here. There was no glue, but purely theoretically, if this was full of water, I could pop it off carefully. I didn't damage, not even one of these steps, despite the fact it's old plastic, none of that broke. Let me see, oh yeah, the water's coming out. And you will find, oh, there's a bunch of water on my work table. And hopefully you can see finally that lens. It looks like a spaceship or something. Or these transformers. Don't you think? It's a face, one of these transformers. Wow, that's pretty cool. And, yes, I finally see the ballast, the computer. It's right here. So now we can trace 
the wiring. So this is the connector for the low beam. It's still here. It comes through this rubber closing cap, which you can see the wire. It's right here and it's coming inside of this small ballast computer, which is right here. From there, it continues through this small connector that can be also taken apart and it finally goes in this assembly in that lens. Now for those who didn't see the previous video, the failure of this headlight was that the low beam started flickering. It was not emitting the light correctly. Uh, everything else worked perfectly, the high beam and so on, <clears throat> but the low beam light was inconsistent and it will flicker. So removing this part gave us way better understanding and visibility of the computer. And sure enough, it says computer light control LED Toyota 85967 dash zero two zero two zero these will be the numbers which are matching Toyota catalog in my opinion it's a made in China here you can see way better it's all flooded I wonder if the, the moisture was the part of flickering and if this will be dried if actually this can be fully safe now when this happened I gave the options to the customer and she agreed on aftermarket uh, products from a reputable company. I used 1A Auto and I was able to replace both headlights, assemblies. The price of both of them was less than one of them from Toyota. So she got both new. So I said I was going to throw it away, this whole thing, because it failed. Wow, look at that. Yeah, this computer back, it's fully open. So, as it, and it's wet, it's completely wet. Everything has a nice little connector. So you can see this ballast computer right here. Look at that, how it's all wet. Now let's turn attention to this little computer because guess what? I think I can open it. There I see some bags of screws, but I think it's snapped. The top it snapped on top of it. Wow! Yeah! Yo yo yo! Look at us! Look at us! And sure enough guys, that poor thing is soaked with the water. There is a possibility that this was the reason of flickering. It's completely soaked. I started prying on these areas and something is moving. I will go ahead and release this height adjustment screw. That's a number 8 millimeter. Yep. The whole assembly is tilting forward right here. And finally gave up, guys. Wow! Look at these cooling fins on that LED. Wow! That's why it's so heavy in this area, that whole headlight. So now we can see why that moisture is present. I don't, I'm not touching the surfaces. But why it's on the back of this projector lens. Let's continue with these four. I really like this. This is fun. I know it's geeky. But this is awesome. How often you can do stuff like this. So here is the heart of entire low beam light. 
another connector really nice so far super high quality high-end connectors and I think if I remove these last two Phillips screws we will see the LED itself so I will call this projector lens oh it just fell and look at that this is the LED itself right there as usually with that yellow color that emitting area as we know it from LED flashlights and LED bulbs and so on it has yellow color and this is guys the heart of the low beam isn't it fascinating it's being projected through this element that's an all shiny material and that goes through this lens which is basically almost dried I didn't have to touch it it's becoming clear the moisture is gone this is super super cool I love it and I think I will not throw it away today because I'm crazy these people are called hoarders and apparently it's a sickness I will keep it I will put it together and if I keep the computer and I will dry it and the wiring it actually when I will have another Corolla I don't have to keep the whole assembly but I can just keep these parts hook it to the wiring on the vehicle and we can see if this will work after it dried out because this was flickering all the time so we will see immediately the difference and hopefully this attempt with zooming shows you finally in detail how tiny it is and that's our low beam emitting LED did you have so much fun with this like I had I really hope so I will assume so if you stayed and watched this video I'm assuming you are the same geek like I am as I said if I have a dry it out if I will find a suitable vehicle I will film that hooking it to the car and we will see if the moisture was the problem I'm assuming so everything else looks good I said there may have been a burnt part but this is piece of plastic so I don't think that's a, any malfunction it's not a burnt bulb right here so I'm assuming it will work perfectly without that presence of the moisture I learned a lot today about this assembly I hope you did too if you like the video please give it a thumb up and stay tuned I have way more coming your way soon thank you for watching and have a great day my friend